The studios in Hollywood and the major guilds and the labor organizations agreed to a new set of guidelines to gear up production as soon as possible. But what do safety protocols actually look like? How do they impact the schedule and the foot traffic on a soundstage, for example? So for answers, we have asked our Advanced Imaging Society board member, Rami Katrib of Digital Film Tree to help us out. Rami and his colleague, Andrea Anacito, Anacito Chavez have been working with key studio stakeholders to build a, a system that can bring production and safety concerns together using what they call the safety viz system. Without further ado, please take it away. Rami and Andrea. So I am Rami Katri, founder of, C of Digital Film Tree, and Andrea. I am Andrea Nacetto. I am a producer and game engine artist at Cinecode, the virtual production arm of Digital Film Tree. Um, so at Cinecode, what we specialize in is pre-visualization and final visualization for film and TV and indies. So what we mainly do is we leverage game engine technology in our workflow, um, whether it's Unity or Unreal, and we then go into the game engine and we're able to create scenes in 2D and 3D um, that help pre-visualize or tell stories, generally speaking, to even coming up with cinematography, shot lists, and stunt performances, and in some cases, safety. And the idea of safety viz from the beginning was to help productions and studios get back to sit, get back to the set safely. So we were approached by my friends, Eric Weaver and Greg Chaccio. And the idea made a lot of sense to us because we had already been doing creative visualization um, to help productions organize and prototype their stories before they go on set. So we, we, took the, the tools we have, the game engines, and we leveraged one of our scanning partners, Virtual Productions, to scan uh, the two sets that were being used by the Ripple Effect production uh, at XR Stages and Lux Machina. And we built the environment based on the script and all of the COVID safety controls that were being assembled uh, to provide safety procedures, safety protocols on set. That included us uh, coordinating not only with the production heads, <clears throat> but also the COVID safety officer, Catherine. So in about a day, we scanned both of the sets. Uh, Andrea started building the environment and then we presented the environment to uh, the production heads and the COVID safety officer. And one of the most interesting things was right away, it gave everyone visibility to the challenges and the revisions that needed to take place right away. I do. So Rami mentioned the scans. So these scans were created by Virtual Wonders and they're LiDAR scans. And if you're not familiar with what that is, essentially a LiDAR scan is a scan of an environment or an object per se and that scan actually has the accurate height and dimensions of a location. Um, so we're actually able to get those measurements. And with those measurements, we can actually see like how many people would actually fit on set. And because we had those measurements, we decided to create a variety of different tools that would help guide us in this process. And two of the first tools we created were the ring lights. As you can see in the video, there's a ring light attached to each character. And when it turns red, uh, this is supposed to mean that it's actually below six feet. So that, that way you know they're not being socially distanced, they need to stay apart. And when they're green, like you see on this image here, that means they are more than six feet. And you're actually able to see that data by looking at the bottom right corner of the screen, there is a measurement that's rolling while we are having the characters move. And it's always recording the closest distance to them. So the reason why we created this for the narrative was not only so we could see that data, but also that helped drive the narrative. So anytime we would have a session with the COVID safety officer, they would be able to see like, okay, that this needs, they need to be more spread apart. Like, can we make them 10 feet instead of six feet? Let's see if there's extra space. 
So we're able to see that there. And we were able to um, come up with the narratives that way. And then from there, we wanted to make sure that our tools weren't just going to be part of um, coming up with a visual narrative, but also coming up with data that could be used on a call sheet per se, or a way for other people to understand what was going on. 